sharp. But it's going to take more than a good wardrobe to get this win tonight on the road. A great view of our broadcast location today, downtown Atlanta. We're all set to bring you today's action. It's Friday night, and live on 2K Sports, we're going to bring you the NBA in all its excitement. This is Kevin Harlan along courtside with Brent Berry and Greg Anthony. We've got David Aldridge on our sideline. A chance now to check out how the All-Star voting is shaping up. And I tell you, the excitement starting to ratchet up a little bit as the tallies start coming in. Well, you look at Adebayo. He's not too far away from a spot in the starting five. A lot of votes have been coming his way. And even if he doesn't get the fan votes he needs to become a starter, you have to believe he'll be a part of the Eastern Conference All-Star team. A great All-Star weekend it'll be. We'll keep you updated as we get closer. And David Aldridge is standing by for our pregame report. David, good evening. Kevin, thank you. Last season, Bam Adebayo signed that five-year max extension, the richest contract in Miami Heat franchise history. He said of this team, they're going to push you no matter what. Whether you've got $160 million or you've got $1.5, we all get treated the same. And that's what I love about this organization. Kevin? Good story. Hard work does pay off, David. Thank you so much. Two very athletic teams here, Greg. A game that's sure to produce a lot of highlights. And makes me think of Stacey Auburn, one of the greatest athletes I ever played alongside. So the opening lineup for the Heat, backcourt pair for them, it's Lowry and Robinson. Butler out there with Dwayne Dedman, and it's Adebayo in at the five, down low. And for the Hawks. Collins and Capella make up the inside pair. Williams is out there at Bogdanovich. And it's Hunter in at the three spot. And it's the Hawks to start out. Back to Williams. Just four to shoot. Atlanta needs to get off a shot here. Hunter, no good. Butler against Hunter. And Deadman throws it down. Well, Deadman pretty quick to that. And with that long reach, able to get up there and throw it down. Williams scanning the floor. Outside Cowan. Hunter, no one around him, knocks down the three ball. What I like about that is Hunter did not rush the shot. Williams against Lowry. Right side, Butler, the train. Atlanta with the rebound. They went to Miami for their last meeting with the Heat and came out with a win. And that last one came right down to the wire. The difference for me being the impact they got from their bench. Yeah, without the scoring they got from that second unit, that is not a game they would have won. They needed every one of those points that they got off the bench. Here's Butler after the made shot from John Collins. Back to Butler. Robinson for three. No good. So the Hawks will take it the other way. Here's Williams. Jimmy Butler comes up with the rebound. Miami's gone 0 of 2 from deep here. And it's Lowry penetrating. Count the basket. A whole nice drive by Lowry. Cutting the defense to pieces and then getting himself open for a look. And really hard to find more intense players than Jimmy Butler. This guy is 100% focused on winning at all times. One of the ultimate competitors in our league. Passes to Autobio. Back to Lowry. Heat moving the ball around. Butler against Hunter. Hunter with some nice defense. And with Butler and his intensity, Greg, it's a perfect fit for him in Miami. And yeah, it can rub some players the wrong way, but it goes hand in hand with the culture here. Hard to imagine Butler on a team other than Miami. Now here's Williams. Jimmy Butler unable to get his last shot to go. Collins kicks to Bogdanovich. 
Capella trying to free himself up. Bogdanovich, no luck. The Atlanta Hawks coming to this one after the win against the Timberwolves. And there's the pass to Lowry. Back to Robinson. Buries the long-range jumper. And that's just smart basketball. Lowry reading the overcommitment and just whipping the ball to the open man. For Atlanta, they've gone 2 of 5 here, making 40% so far to start out the game. Pass to Bogdanovich. Pass to Hunter. Fires for three. And once again off the mark by Atlanta. Miami's gone. One of three from beyond the arc so far in the game. Lowry finds Butler. From outside, off the mark. And here's Hunter. He'll bring it up for the Atlanta Hawks. Trailing by two. Outside, Williams. Plenty of space. And a little luck that time, but it drops. Yeah, you could tell Hunter knew he was open. Did not hesitate to find him. Lowry deciding where to go with it here. Here's Butler trying to get open as Adebayo. And it's Butler missing. Well, he's just really struggling right now and with everything he's throwing up. Nothing really helping out in terms of his confidence. I mean, these ones aren't even close. And he likes to get in a rhythm early. Nice triple. Here's Lowry. He had a 15-point outing in their last game against Portland. Butler kicks to Robinson. Takes the three. Collins grabs the miss. And you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. Bogdanovich with it. Robinson picks him up. And Butler sends it back. Butler with great anticipation there. And swatting that one away. Now the Hawks moving it the other way. And the dunk by Capella. And the long arms of Capella using them to perfection as a target for his teammates on that alley-oop. And the first time out of the game called for the Heat. And what a career it's been for Lou Williams. You forget just how long, Greg, he's produced at this level. And how about came into the league at 19. A decade and a half later, he's still an incredible scorer. Longevity like that isn't easy to come by. Now, Lowry, his scoring has been there on a regular basis. He's averaging more than 14 points a game. Butler goes in, and he makes good on the layup. Just a great show of Butler's upper body strength right there as he plays through the contact. The Hawks leading by three. Outside Williams. Outside Bogdanovich. Over Robinson. Bogdanovich, no luck. His touch from mid-range, that's almost always good. That won't shake his confidence. Passes it to Autobio. Shoots over Capella. And Capella sends it back. Opponents have to be careful when Capella is in the area. What an impressive display of timing. Really, uh, the right play defensively, if you can't block, force him to the line. And you look at the size of Bam Adebayo. Rare to see someone so big be so fluid with the ball. And, and how much GA does that ability unlock what this team can do offensively around Bam? the DHOs or dribbling up from the post to make plays or involving him at the top of the key to find backdoor cutters. That's a lot of extra action for teams not to be able to prepare for because of Bam's skill. First free throw is good. And Greg, some players say they watch the standings. Others say they ignore them. Which side were you on? You, you know, at times I, I did a little of both, but I, I typically wanted to watch, especially when my team was relevant. You know, it was a couple of years where I had no uh, no desire at all to see where our team was because I knew we were pretty close to the bar. You wonder just what it is that's next for Bam as he's shown incredible improvement in a very short amount of time as one of the more versatile bigs in the league. Here's Lowry. To the made shot from John Collins. Lowry passes to Autobio. Shoots over Capella. 
And Capella sends it back. Lowry against Williams. Unloads from 13. No good off the back of the rim. Well, nobody getting a hand in his face in that painted area. That's a miss he's going to be disappointed with. Butler kicks to Robinson over Bogdanovich. Miami no good on that time either. Well, he's not very hard to defend right now. This is when the defense might step back and let him try to find his range. Robbed up there for Collins and stolen by Deadman. And it's the heat on the break. Here's Butler. And Capella sends it back. It's Bogdanovich on the wing. Guarded by Robinson. Back to Williams. The pass to Collins. Kicks it to Williams. From the arc. Rebound by the Heat. Adebayo's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. And, and already they staked out a noticeable advantage in terms of aggression and controlling the backboard. Robinson finds Lowry. Off target with his three. Just a, enough coverage to bother that three-point attempt. No problems knocking that one down. Hunter's got his second basket of the night. A pretty good setup from the team there as Hunter's able to focus in on that one. Now a timeout called by Miami. They're moving on after the tough loss they took at the hands of the Blazers. Poor execution in that one. Not sure what led to the lack of focus, but coaching staff definitely not happy. And, and they made some comments themselves that some of the fault might have lied with them because they didn't go in with the best of game plans and they didn't make the right adjustments. So we'll see tonight if they do. Here's what Atlanta's going with right now. Alonari, he's checked in for Clint Capella. Okongwu comes in for John Collins. Right, he's checked in for Bogdan. And Kevin Herter subbed in for Lou Williams. A nice shot by Gallinari. And what's your take, guys, in the hustle sticks for the Hawks? Great hustle defensively through the first half, contesting everything and racking up the block shots. Another big aspect has to be the fast break and transition play, really looking to go up-tempo tonight. Here's Wright following the basket by Bam Adebayo. Back to Wright. Rebound by the Heat. We're not going to see that very often. The defense in the vicinity, but still, he's not one to blow layups. Oladipo misses. And the Hawks with possession. They're on a 15-5 run here. And he's good on the three ball. Hunter's got nine points. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. Golinari with the steal. That's tipped. Pass to Herter. Back to Golinari. Hero with it. Now right defender. Hero passes to Oladipo. Trying to get open is Adebayo. Hero no good. The Hawks leading by 11. And Gallinari kicks to Hunter. No good with the triple. Miami's gone a meager 1 of 6 from three-point land since we got started tonight. Here's Oladipo. And it's Oladipo with the jam. That ability to attack off the bounce, one of the real strengths of Oladipo's game. And here's Atlanta. They're on an 18-7 run. Now, here is going on. Looking at his numbers, he averages a bit over nine points a game. Shot clock at six. And once again off the mark by Atlanta. Well, he wanted to keep that shot from getting blocked, but in the process, he gave it no chance of going in because of how unbalanced he was on the fade. Now, Hero really had troubles in the loss to Portland. Going inside. In a flash, Tyler Hero makes his way to the inside. Nice use of his athleticism. There's a minute 40 left in the first quarter. Right, looking around. Pass to Hunter. 
And Okongwu has it in the corner. Hands it from downtown. And the Hawks lead by 10. Excellent all-around performance so far. Hits the big lead. Well, if I was baking up a lead, I'd add two ingredients. One would be playing smart. The other one, playing selfless. They've done that tonight. Serve it up. And they've had a tough time scoring in the half court. Credit the defense for making it hard on them. They've done a great job of disrupting the timing and spacing of their offense. Here's Herder. No points in the game yet for him. Here's Hunter out to Gallinari. Shoots over Tucker. And it's Gallinari missing. The Heat trail by seven. Oladipo, the pass to Autobio. The kick out to Oladipo. Miami keeps it going. A new 14-second clock. Martin up top. Hero from long range. No good on that one. So the Hawks will take it the other way. They're coming off that win against Minnesota. I thought they had a solid game plan coming into that one. And then they made good adjustments along the way. Well, the great thing about watching that game was that we saw it through their offense and they showed a few different looks that they settled into and played well. Two on the clock. A nice shot by Gallinari. What focus from the big Italian forward out there. Gallinari is used to having to overcome a lot of physical defense. And so it's the Atlanta Hawks in control with a nine-point lead to end the quarter. And they've done a phenomenal job down low. So many of their points coming right at the rim. Back right after this. And selected 13th back in 2019, Tyler Hero. Highly valued by this Miami Heat franchise. I uh, had a great opportunity from really day one. You know, coaches and my teammates all trust me. Um, it's just the beginning. Just continue to get better. It's a long season and a long road ahead. <laughs> Greg, he's right. Still just getting started, but many feel his upside is special. Well, I mean, he's never been intimidated by this level. Tremendous confidence in his abilities, and that's a great foundation. And if you're just tuning in, we've got a wide margin on the scoreboard, but uh, plenty of time left for a comeback. Well, from what you guys are seeing from the Hawks, what are you thinking about their performance? Well, their effort on the defensive end has set the tone for this game. Yeah, defense has been infectious here as everybody stepping up aggressively on that end. So with Lowry on the bench, this is who Eric Spolstra has on the floor. They've got Oladipo. Marky Morris is out there with Martin. Then it's Tyler Hero. Then it's Adebayo in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. Okay, well, let's get down to David Aldridge for a report from the sideline. Thank you, Kevin. After their trip to the NBA Finals in 2020, the Miami Heat is looking to get back to that championship round. Jimmy Butler says, we know what we're capable of. We want to get back to the finals. We can get back there. I like our chances against anybody, honestly. Nobody intimidates us. Kevin? What a great attitude. They've shown they can compete at the highest level, David. Thank you. Here's Herder. The Heat knocking down the tray. And here's Jang. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. A wide open look here for Okongwu. And once again off the mark by Atlanta. The Heat trail by four. Outside, Martin. Oladipo goes in. Adebayo can't hit from the elbow. Atlanta's gone 0 2 from deep here in the second. And Bam Adebayo, picked 14th in the 2017 draft, has made huge improvements throughout his career. Guy is a hard worker. Right. That shot, no good. Nice D from Oladipo. And here's Oladipo. He'll bring it up for the Miami Heat. They haven't allowed any points in the second quarter. Hero, no good. 
And Coach Spolster says that Adebayo continues to put in the work to improve. And Kevin, you see it in his game every year. Never takes a summer off. Comes back each fall with a new wrinkle to his repertoire. And a breakdown here, guys. The hustle stats for the Heat. They've come out in attack mode on the defensive end. They've applied pressure and forcing turnovers. On top of all that, they've done a good job of making life difficult for the opposing shooters. They've had hands up and have contested a lot of shots. Look at the blocks. Driving inside. And he goes strong with the one-handed jam. And Hero getting to the spots where he can be very effective. That swagger he plays with is infectious. And Atlanta calls their first time out of the game. And we all know that star players get a few more perks, but Greg, that can also stir up misgivings in a locker room when things aren't always equal. Kevin, that's a great point. And, and coaches really have to be careful. If you're holding one player accountable and giving another a pass, that tends to lead to a fractured locker room. So for the Hawks, John Collins, he's checked in for Okongwu. Bogdan Bogdanovich comes in for right, and it's Williams in for going off. A nice shot by Bogdanovich. And with those points, he puts an end to that 10-0 run by Miami. Bogdanovich against Robinson. He kicks it to Butler. Fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway, so a three-point play chance for him. Well, Butler's a great competitor, and he's playing with some fire right now. And Jimmy Butler, while he's a good shooter, not a great shooter, Brent, from beyond the arc. Well, he's good enough there, and we'll take, I, I guess, the right ones, Kevin, to keep pressure on because you want to take the open threes. But he knows his game so well, and he'll continue to attack. He'll continue to find ways to expose defenses in the mid-range to make the impact on the game offensively that we're so accustomed to from Jimmy Butler. Unreal to think Duncan Robinson went undrafted. A key part to this team's offense. Well, there's credit to Duncan Robinson and him continuing to believe in his ability, which is otherworldly in shooting the basketball off the move. It's another to find systems that allow him to do that. So Duncan has made his way, and there are teams that have found a way to use him correctly to accentuate his otherworldly shooting ability. Bogdanovich passes to Herter. Outside, Cowan. Passes to Williams. Back to Collins. Here's Herter. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. And finished off by Collins. Oh, that connection with Collins, that's uh, an impressive play. And very, very high percentage. Lowry passes to Butler. And there's the call on Lou Williams. That is his first foul of the game. Clint Capella, he's checked in for Atlanta. Outside Butler. Outside Robinson. From outside the arc. Rebounded by Capella. Capella's got rebound number eight here tonight in the game. If you told me this was the kind of game he was going to have, I would not have expected them to be in front right now. That's in, and the Miami lead is cut down to one in the bucket from Bogdanovich. Trying to improve every year. That's the goal of anyone in the NBA. Bogdanovich has great fundamentals to be able to do that. Now here is Lowry. Edmund passes to Morris. Lowry from outside. Good on the three-point shot. Lowry's got five. So they're getting a lot of their points outside the paint. Three of their last five baskets are from three-point range. Atlanta's gone six of 11 when they've taken the three-point shot tonight. Very respectable. Here's Collins. Good work defensively by Morris. On offense, here are the Heat. They're on a 19-6 run. Out of bounds, Atlanta will take possession. And a quick look here at some of the numbers for Herder. How last month turned out for him. He's averaging seven points a game, two assists, and two rebounds. And so much of what they do on offense depends on how he plays. Well, he attracts serious attention from the defense, and that really does open up the backside for a lot of his teammates to take full advantage. Outside, Cowan. There's three-pointers off the mark. 
Or even though he misses that one, the defense has got to talk about that. And that's a bad miscue. And you can't give up looks like that all game long. Now, here's Lowry. He's got five. Morris with the bucket. And after that ragged first quarter, they're getting some momentum, some confidence. Nice flow. Williams dishes to Bogdanovich. Here's the three. Morris with the rebound. The Heat leading by six. Lowry passes to Deadman. And Capella sends it back. And it's out of bounds. The Heat able to retain possession here. His shot was hindered by that momentous mobile one block. And that has got to help the morale of this team. Let's see if that sets up a run here. To the inside, stolen by Collins. Launches it, and with that, the Heat lead is cut down to just three in the basket from Herter. Shot preparation is fantastic as Herter's able to get his feet set that time. And the pass to Deadman. Morris kicks to Robinson. The shot's good on the assist by Morris. Robinson's got the lead back up to six now for the Heat. Both teams running perimeter-oriented plays that are working. Well, both of them looking towards the three-point line. And I like to see that, especially when the results are made buckets. And so it's Atlanta with it. Heat knocking down the tray. Well, when you're giving the ball as much as Lou Williams has gotten it through the years, he's experienced enough to make those kind of plays. And the Heat call time here. And as the coaches go to the clipboard to outline their strategy during the timeout, the players getting a chance to rehydrate with some Gatorade. That's key to staying fresh all the way to the final whistle. And, Kevin, it really is. And every one of these players knows it. They're all making sure to stay hydrated. It's impossible to play your A game if you're not getting enough to drink, especially uh, towards the end of games when the physical toll of a long contest really starts to add up. And the Hawks making a change here. Hunter's checked in. And there's the call on Kyle Lowry. That's his first foul. The Hawks trail by four. Collins up top. Guarded by Tucker. Collins dishes to Williams. And they can thank Tucker. Oh! Ow. with that one. Yeah, maybe trying to give them the momentum boost they need to break this game open. Let's take another look at the staunch defense during that mobile one block. And this is why coaches stress the importance of defense. Big block there in this close game. Now, here is Morris. Butler from outside. Rebound, Atlanta. Collins has got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Down low. And finish off by Collins. Just has a nose for the dunks. Collins up there once again. Lowry against Williams. Lowry kicks it to Tuck. Morris passes to Lowry. Just five to shoot. For the three. And that's good. Robinson picking up the assist. Robinson's got three assists now in this one. Williams against Lowry. For three. Another three for Atlanta. Well, you got to honor Lou Williams' shot from deep, especially if he's got other things going offensively. Has a great feel for when to pull the trigger. Now, here's Lowry. Eight points for him. Outside for Robinson. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. Bogdanovich against Robinson. Right side, Bogdanovich. Over Robinson. Bogdanovich, no luck. And uh, Miami shooting for the game at 42%. Here's Butler. 
It's not going to go for him. Hunter with some nice defense. And the ball's tied up, so we'll have a jump ball. And the Hawks with possession here. Here's Robinson. It's in the bucket for his fourth field goal. Shooting at a four of nine clip. And they've repeatedly probed inside in the first half, guys. And, and it's paid off. Outside Williams. It's stolen by Morris. One on one here. Lowry with the ball. He's picked up by Collins. Butler against Hunter. Butler, no good. And the rebound battle split evenly thus far. Let's the three fly. Hunter, no good. And it's Lowry with the ball. Brings it up for Miami. Butler kicks to low. Back to Butler. That falls. Nice feed that time from Kyle Lowry. Butler's got five points in the quarter. That is a tough two right there from Butler really is calling card rugged play and 100 percent effort now here's Williams he has five Capella dishes to Williams for three Hunter Jimmy Butler with the rebound Butler's got his fifth rebound right now in the game ah you love basketball couldn't miss in the first quarter now can't make it in the second quarter gotta be eating at him just a bit to Collins. Back to Bogdanovich. Wants to get it to Collins and does. That one is good again. He's six or eight from the floor with the basket. That ability to finish over defenders, that's key for any scorer, and Collins has athleticism to do just that. Now here is Lowry. He's got eight. Robinson passes to Lowry. Over Williams. Collins grabs the miss. Collins has got rebound number seven for him tonight. And the dunk by Capella. Just has a nose for the ball. Capella skilled at gaining ideal position for those offensive rebounds. Lowry against Williams. Lowry kicks to Robinson. And it's off from three-point range. Atlanta shooting 38% in the second quarter. Offensively, they look a little bit confused. And the dunk by Capella. Well, you want to lead by an example. Bogdanovich leading the way with the assist. And there's the call on John Collins. That's foul number two for him. It's his second foul, but not the end of the world. One more before halftime, though. That would change some things. Here's what Atlanta's going with right now. Kong Roos checked in for John Collins. Molinari comes in for DeAndre Hunter. And it's right in for Williams. Right with it. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Aganovich takes the assist and lays it in. Picked out the pass nicely. They're scoring boatloads of buckets. It's raining buckets from inside. Now Hero. He's got 12. Oladipo outside. Three-pointer. Martin. He can't get it to go. And so it's John Collins making highlights for Atlanta. He made his mark in a big way on the boards in that quarter. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks very much, John. You are having your way inside the paint. What's allowing you to be so effective? Uh, my teammates are fine to me. I think I'm doing a good job of trying to, you know, play with energy, run the floor, roll hard. Uh, being an athlete above the rim, I think, like I said, my teammates are fine to me. I'm doing a good job of finishing. 
You are certainly being available to your team. Thanks very much. Back to you guys. All right, Dave, thank you. And time now for the halftime break with the third quarter soon to follow right here on 2K Sports. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello again, everyone. That was a combination of everybody and everyone. Everyone. Ah, Did you catch that? I got it. Yeah, Ernie Johnson, Kenny the Jet Smith, Shaquille O'Neal. How about that first half, fellas? There was no stopping John Collins in the first half. He had 12 points, 8 rebounds, and 1 block. Kenny, let's start with you. What do you think about the Hawks? I like what they've done on the glass. Boxing out, reacting quickly, playing with an aggressive attitude. They set a physical tone, but now everyone gets a chance to recalibrate. We'll see if this rebounding dominance can extend into the second half. And over to Shaq. What do you think about Miami? They got rained on from three. Now the shooters deserve some credit. They did hit a few defensive shots. Defense deserved more of the blame. Because there were still way too many wide open looks. And that's going to do it for us here. The second half of action is coming your way. And we're halfway through this one. Plenty of basketball left in a game that's been fairly even so far. John Collins has been sensational. Well, we'll find out if they were able to find an, an answer for him over the break. He was scoring with ease in that first half. Yeah, just way too easy out there. And I'm sure Coach is going to make that a priority at halftime. And we've got second half action for you. Thus far, a pretty evenly contested game. Miami trailing. Third quarter action getting rolling right now. Brought to you by Gatorade. All fueled up and ready to go. Here's who's on the floor. On the court for Atlanta. And in at the forward positions, Hunter and Collins. Bogdanovich out there with Williams. And it's Capella in at the five. Well, Jimmy Butler is a wing that you're going to have to stay connected to out there. That was a sweet stroke. And maybe we don't talk enough about what a great teammate Lowry is. Passionate. He leads by example and always vocal. Now here's Williams after Clint Capella's miss. There's the triple. Shot by Collins, no good. And for the Heat, they're shooting about 42% so far. Oh, and the jam by Butler. Jimmy Butler just too athletic on that play. Look at the height. Now here's Williams. When Lowry won gold in 2016, the U.S. team coaches had very high praise. Yeah, you, you can call him their unsung hero. The best team player out of anybody. This guy shows emotion and guys feed off his energy. The Heat with the lead. Outside Lowry. Inside. Here's Dedman. Rebounded by the Hawks. It's off to Charlotte for him after this game as they take on the Hornets. That'll be just one game played away from home for them. And stolen by Butler. Lowry from outside. Collins grabs the miss. And here's Williams now. He'll bring it up for the Atlanta Hawks. Knocked loose. To the paint. Here's Collins. And finished off by Collins. Interesting night where you're getting this kind of production from Collins. They're going to lean on him a little bit more now. Lowry passes to Butler. Back to Lowry. And he banks in the layup. Lowry's got 10 points. They didn't have much of a problem getting the ball into the post that time. Williams against Lowry to the right side. Outside Bogdanovich. And that one goes long. He'd have gone three of five to start the second half, developing a nice rhythm out there. Butler goes in. Oh, and the jam by Butler. Quick and athletic. Butler able to beat his opponents right to the 10. A touch over two and a half minutes of basketball played here in the third quarter. Bogdanovich looking around. Outside Williams. 
shoots. That's good, and the Heat lead is cut down to two on the bucket from Bogdanovich. He's got 11. Well, he's an accurate shooter and has some great confidence, Bogdanovich, with the beauty. Robinson on the wing. He's guarded by Williams. Lowry kicks to Adebayo. Six to shoot. Robinson dishes to Lowry. Off target with his three. I wonder what the score would be if they weren't controlling the backboard. Pass to Robinson. Over Collins. Tries again. Outside Butler. Takes the three. And that's good. Robinson picking up the assists. Robinson's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. In the third quarter with just over three and a half minutes off the clock. Atlanta calls timeout. You look at Jimmy Butler. He's really been playing well. Well, I hope this one is not to draw up a play, but to think about how they're going to defend that man. He's putting up some major numbers. So for the Hawks, Zhang comes in for Clint Capella, and Kevin Herter subbed in for Bogdan Bogdanovich. Here's Collins. He's got 14. Zhang, the pass to Hunter. Kicks it to Williams. Outside Collins. Rocket six. Here's Herter. And Adebayo sends it back. Are, are we sure that Bam's not wearing a watch out there? Perfect timing. Hunter against Butler. And Lowry has it in the corner. And the Heat, another three. And breaking down some numbers here, the hustle stats for the Heat. Their defense has been outstanding. Closing out on shots and blocking a few as well. It's okay to be a kleptomaniac during a basketball game. Look at those steals totals. A lot of effort on deep from them tonight. Williams gets to Collins. And right away, they match it with a three-pointer of their own. Collins has got 17. And here's Lowry. 13 points in the game. Pass to Butler. Launches a three. Rebound Atlanta. Herter has got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Robbed up there for Collins. Hammers the alley-oop through. Shooters tend to be hungry, but this time Herter finds an open teammate. Outside Lowry. Butler on the way. Deadman in the corner. 17-foot shot on the way. The shot by Autobio, no good. The Hawks trail by three. The pass to Hunter. For the tie, it's Deadman with the rebound. That's yeah, another just bad decision on a night full of those. His shot selection tonight has been questionable at best. And contact can't slow Adebayo down. He's not afraid to get physical when he's attacking. Atlanta's gone one of four and three-point shots here in the third. Outside, Williams. There's the drive. Oh, and he pucks it off the glass. Wow. This feels like it's snowballed a little bit on them. The more he tries to shoot his way out of this slump, the worse it seems to get. They need him to get it together. Now, here's Butler. 16 points for him. Adebayo down low. He's against Jang. The shot by Butler. Nobody around. That's in. Coming off an assist from Adebayo. Well, the floor is going to open up now if Jimmy Butler can knock down something from that distance. Hawks shooting a pretty brutal 29% since the break. Time call here. The Hawks decide to talk it over.
The Atlanta making some changes. Okong Wu's checked in for Collins. Molinari comes in for DeAndre Hunter. And it's right in for Williams. Lahid also changing it up. Martin's checked in for Dwayne Dedman. Victor Oladipo comes in for Jimmy Butler. And Hero subbed in for Duncan Robinson. Martin. And he can't extend the lead to double digits. The Hawks trail by eight. Here's Hurt. Driving to the basket. And it's Lowry with the rebound. And so Lowry will bring it up for Miami. Pass to Autobahn. Good ball movement here by the Heat. Oladipo misses. Hawk shooting around 40% from the floor here. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively for sure. Driving the lane. And there is some intelligence behind the passing of Alibayo. Not flashy, but making smart ones. Right with it. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Pass to Chang. Six to shoot. Herter passes to Chang. Will it go? And that's two points on the layup. Now they're playing working to perfection there if that was their plan. And if it wasn't, maybe that should be their plan. Down low. And Adebayo with the basket on the assist by Lowe. Adebayo's got the lead up to 10 now for Miami. Atlanta's gone into a slump here from three-point range. Shooting just one of five here in the third. Passes it to Okongwu. The pass to Herter. He kicks to Okongwu. Right from outside. That shot off. Well, both him and the team seem to be off their game right now, and the frustration is clearly mounting as the clock is winding down. Driving in, and down it goes, jamming that one home. A flashy play by Harrell off the drive, turning his speed into airtime for a dunk. The Hawks trail by 12. Right, the pass to Herter. Jang with a clean look. No good with the triple. Miami's gone three of seven from three-point range here in quarter number three. And there's that vertical of Hero. Gets off the floor with ease and just hammers that one down. Here's Herter. And the former Kentucky Wildcat, Tyler Hero. He was picked 13th, Greg, in the 2019 draft. And he had an immediate impact. And you feel a lot of teams didn't see how NBA-ready Hero was. Underrated as a playmaker coming into the league, he's been a huge part of this team since his arrival. Into the lane. That one good for two. Herter's got five. Well, the more that Herter attacks like this, the more off-balance the defense will become. Oladipo outside. Inside. Bio down low. Jang defending. Oladipo for three. That one doesn't go. So the Hawks will take it the other way. Clint Capella, he's checked in for Gorgie Dang. P.J. Tucker, he's checked in for Miami. We have got to see that sensational mobile one block again. And a block like that sends a message. One that says we're not giving up this lead. The Hawks trail by 12. Right, the pass to Okongwu. Back to right. And Adebayo sends it back. Well, if he's going to keep shooting, they've got to run some plays for him. Screens, pick and rolls, anything they can do to get him started. Martin finds Oladipo. Now Hero. He's got 18. And Adebayo throws it down. That's everything you want there. Bam out of bio up there. Vertical. Good hands. 
and the big throwdown. The Hawks shooting terrible so far in the second half, down around 26%. Here's Herter, guarded by Oladipo. Alinari outside. Down to five on the shot clock. Fires from 18. It's hauled in by the Heat. No doubt the quarter just not going his way. Still scores. And it's Oladipo with the jam. One of those guys who you say 6'4", but plays bigger. Oladipo with the strength to finish through the contact. Greg, you were just talking about Oladipo. He holds a very high standard for himself. He's trying to reach another level every year. Wants to keep growing, making everything more consistent. And it's possible we still haven't seen the best of him yet. Bogdanovich, he's checked in for Kevin Herter. The free throw drops for Oladipo. In the 2013 draft, Victor Oladipo out of Indiana becomes the second overall pick. And he broke out in his first season with the Pacers. Nice to see him come back from this injury and start to make an impact. Oladipo with the block. Hero from long range. Offensive rebound. And there's the bucket from Victor Oladipo. Oladipo's got five points now in the quarter. Man, have they been effective at getting the ball inside. Gallinari against Robinson. The putback controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. And he's now got the double-double. Ten points and 15 rebounds. Wow, what a finish. That's why Capella makes the big bucks. Clint can control the area around the rim as good as anyone. Shots good by Hero. Yeah, you would think a coach might have talked to his defense about making the adjustment on him, but right now, he's just lighting him up. There's 21 seconds left in the third. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now, you just need a bucket to get some momentum. Outside, Bogdanovich. Jacks up a three. That shot missing. And so it's the Miami Heat closing out the quarter with a 20-point lead. And it's been their rugged defense setting the tone. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Head coach Nate McMillan is mic'd up along the sidelines. Let's check it out. Defensively, we got to keep these guys in front of us shooting contested two. All right, play defense without fouling, and they get one shot. Being aggressive, GA, without fouling. That's a good message, and that's what Coach McMillan wants. Uh, the worst thing you can do is bail a team out. It's important that they just lock down here defensively. And one quarter to go in a game that, to this point, has not been an evenly fought contest. So with Butler sitting on the bench, this is who Eric Spolstra has on the floor. Adebayo is the pivot with Tucker playing the four. Victor Oladipo is out there with Hero. And it's Robinson break. in at the break. small forward position. Free throw good, Bogdanovich. Well, the thing you think about with Bogdan Bogdanovich, besides his first name being in his last name, is potential. A young, raw prospect with plenty of upside. And so Bogdanovich nails both of them. Miami leading by 18. And Oladipo kicks to Adebayo. Over in the corner, Hero. Pass to Adebayo. 
No good that time. And it's the Hawks taking it the other way. Pass to right. Back to Bogdanovich. Dishes it to right. Lob pass to Capella. Takes the alley-oop pass and dunks it down. Absolutely the prettiest play in basketball executed to perfection. I don't think you'd get an argument there. Everybody loves the alley-oop. Now, here's Adebayo. Passes it to Hero. And here's Oladipo. Six on the shot clock. Heat moving the ball around. And Tucker kicks to Oladipo. The shot, no good. And there's the foul. It will go on P.J. Tucker. That is his first foul of the game. Collins checked in for the Hawks. Williams comes in for DeLon Wright. And so it's Capella who brings up the ball for the Atlanta Hawks. Here in the fourth quarter, their defense has been very strong, allowing no baskets. Gallinari surveying the D. Looking for Bogdanovich, and he gets it there. Comes up empty down low. The Heat leading by 16. Here's Hero. Collins trying to break free. Shot good by Hero. Hero's got 23 points. Now, here's Bogdanovich. The pass to Collins. Kicks to Williams. Back to Collins. Good, and it's Williams who picks up the assist. Williams has got his seventh assist in the game. Oladipo outside. Back to Robinson. Here's Autobio. And another basket for Miami. And you see the offense coming around for Adebayo. Entered the league with raw skills, but he's had the benefit of great coaching. Now here's Williams. Fourth quarter of play, and we're about two and a half minutes through it right now. He kicks it to Gallinari. Here's Capella. And boy, that looked like Goldson. And yes, it is. And so they will award the basket there. Just barely too late and, and catches it on the way down. He's already in the air there, committed, so can't fault him for going for the block. Hunter's checked in for Atlanta. And then for Miami, Dwayne Dedman's checked in for P.J. Tucker. And it's Butler in for Hero. Oladipo, the pass to Autobio. And it's out of bounds. They say it was last touched by Williams. On defense, the Hawks. It's a 16-point game. Oladipo. And it's Oladipo with the jam. How about that? Recovering Victor Oladipo up to the rim. Good sign. And just about three minutes through the fourth quarter here. Williams against Oladipo. From 12 feet out. That one off the back iron and out. And when you can't get anything to fall, it definitely gets in your head. Especially if you're a player that doesn't get a lot of shot attempts. But otherwise, the mindset is, I just got to get the next one to go. And you don't want to put that much pressure on yourself. A bit under three and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth. Bogdanovich passes to Collins. Fires it up. It's hauled in by Bam Adebayo. Adebayo's got rebound number 15 here tonight. Robinson with it. Now guarded by Bogdanovich. Robinson, that's good. And boy, he's really in a groove. Dominant performance last game. Same thing this time out. Seems to be nobody standing in his way. No roadblocks for him to get to his spot, capitalize, and continue to be aggressive. Here's Collins following the score by Miami. Capella dishes to Collins. Pass to Hunter. Just five on the clock. Kept alive by Atlanta. Oh, tough play underneath there to give them another 
possession. Just what they were hoping for. A little more time off the clock. And of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is just smash mouth physical basketball, guys. Capella, high post. They need this. And he slams it down right on top of Pam Adebayo. And guys, when Capella's playing like this, it's an added bonus. Love seeing him catch fire. A fantastic mobile one block. This one deserves another look. And boy, did he get up quick to reject that shot. That's as fundamental as defense gets. Oladipo finds Butler. Puts it up from seven. And that one drops. Adebayo's got 12 points in just the second half. Good, smart, patient play by Jimmy Butler that time. You leave someone that wide open, and he's going to find him. Here's Williams. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. Robinson against Bogdanovich. Five to shoot. He takes it in. Miami grabs the miss. Deadman's got five rebounds tonight. With him struggling tonight, they need to find some other options out there to keep themselves in the game. Here's Bogdanovich. Deadman with the block. Well, some more of the reach effect of Deadman, the way he times that one. Impressive shot blocking ability. And the Hawks will go for a different look here. Jang, he's checked in for Capella. Johnson comes in for Collins. Luwawu is checked in for DeAndre Hunter. And Kevin Knox is subbed in for Lou Williams. Get open, get open. Outside, Bogdanovich. Pass to Knox. Five on the clock. No good with the elbow jumper. For Miami, they've gone 7 of 10 shooting the ball since the start of the fourth quarter. This can make it so much easier for your teammate when you throw that lead pass that gets to him right on the money, whether that's on the run or in the shooting pocket. And for the Hawks, they're shooting in the fourth quarter down around 31%, not playing with as much energy here lately. Aganovich, Jimmy Butler comes up with the rebound. Butler's got double-digit rebounds now in the game. Fast break, the Hawks. Here's Luwawu. The shot comes out. Some solid defense from Butler. And it's Miami's ball. They're on a 17-6 run. Here's Vincent. Here's Struce. No good on the triple. Atlanta's shooting at 36% on the night. They've got to step it up offensively. And Bogdanovich kicks to Luwawu Cabarro. Morris with the rebound. Miami's gone one or two from three-point range here in the fourth. Here's Struess. He's guarded by Johnson. Butler in the corner. Tries from 10. Shot from the low block. Rebound by the Hawks. And the foul called on Markeith Morris. That's his first foul. 2021 was an unusual season to say the least for players, coaches. Brent, there was a lot to adapt to. How do you think you would have handled the condensed schedule? It's a good question, Kevin. I, I think just obviously you'd have work to do and I, I'd show up every day to do it. And I commend a lot of the players, not just in terms of the, the level of competition. It was all the other things that they had to do in order to suit up on a nightly basis, uh, not playing in front of crowds. I mean, that is a love of the game type of season that... Of course, I hope we never see again because of the circumstances around it. But the players do deserve a lot of credit. And the fans that, that hung in there and started to show up towards the end of the year uh, to support the players deserve a lot of credit as well. And I'm glad we're through that. And here are the Heat now after the basket by Atlanta. Three on the clock. Three-pointer. Martin rebounded by the Hawks. Herder's got six rebounds in the game. And thus far, they've managed to overcome an off game from him offensively. Here's Luwab. Tries yet again. On the wing, Johnson. There's the three. Vincent with the rebound. The Heat have gone 8 of 14 from the floor here in the fourth quarter. Oh. 
He dishes it to Morris. A terrific shot on the turnaround. Atlanta's gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. Herder passes to Luella. And with the 2020 class, we saw your teammate, Tim Duncan, get inducted into Basketball's Hall of Fame. Yeah, I loved hearing some of the stories that other players and coaches and competitors had around going up against Tim and the, the reverence, the respect uh, that they could never rattle him. It's so cool to hear those stories from the outside, having been a player so fortunate to be on the inside and understand what made him tick, what made him great, um, and, and just how special he was as a leader for so long for that Spurs organization. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First one falls for him. Now, Kevin Knox got a ton of experience in his rookie year playing for the New York Knicks. The ninth overall pick in 2018 out of Kentucky. Played nearly 30 minutes a game. That's a, a lot of minutes to try to understand your game at the pro level and then what you need to work on. And he can't hit the second. Struz passes to Morris. Rebounded by the Hawks. Oh, you, you've got to be able to deliver when you get a bunny like that. That's just too easy of a shot to miss. Oh, oh no. He's the last guy you want to put on the line. You can just about book the points every time he steps up there. Shooting two. And that one falls for Johnson. Great play in most of your career in the 90s. The game has really changed. Less physical, more skilled, but what role has the league played in all of that change? Well, the, the NBA is at the forefront of these changes. The competition committee that they have that meets annually to discuss ways to try to improve the game. Listen, they're not going to always knock it out of the park, but you have to keep thinking forward. And I applaud the league for their attempts to try to improve this game and grow it. Passes it to Robinson. Beyond the arc. The shot. No good. And Atlanta will go the other way with it. Takes a three. And he stays with it. And they get it back again. I mean, how many rebounds offensively have they had? Everything's going right for them today. And the basket by Johnson. Can't talk enough about the subtleties in that setup right there. The assist. Really the key to that entire sequence. Here's Vincent. Jang defending. And the pass to Struess. Good ball movement here by the Heat. Sinks the triple. Robinson's got five points in the quarter. It's been this way since halftime. Tremendous production from beyond the arc. Yeah, pretty infectious right here. Guys in good spirits and percentages from downtown on the rise in the second half. Shooting two. And he can't get the first one. And Greg, with recent legal results, more opportunities now for compensation for college athletes. Uh, do you like it? I do. I mean, there's enough money going around. I don't have a problem with the athletes getting a share. Uh, especially with the amount of time and effort and energy they have to commit. Let's take care of the guys. Let them enjoy the collision experience. He hits the second from the line. Miami's gone 2 of 5 on three-point shots since the end of the third quarter. Autobio against Collins. The shot by Autobio, no good. And here's Hunter. He'll bring it up for the Hawks. Lobbed up there for Collins. An emphatic L.U. jam. 
Holland's now creating some problems down low with his length. 156 left to play here in the fourth. Pass to Autobio. Wants to get it to Morris and does. The shot will not fall. Hunter with some nice defense. Atlanta's gone 0-3 so far in the fourth quarter from long range. Pass to Capella. To the inside. And it's Hunter with the jam. Yeah, Hunter getting enough room to find somebody to be hunted. Pass to Autobio. Shoots over Capella. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. That's on Clint Capella. Well, the backstory of Clint Capella is interesting as he was only the second player, Greg, from Switzerland to make it to the NBA. Yeah, Kevin, you know, you don't think of basketball right away when you think of Switzerland, but the game has grown so much in Europe over the years. Guys like Capella, who might have gone into soccer at one point, are now gravitating towards hoops. Free throw good, Adebayo. And Greg, you were a hard-nosed defender. Would you be frustrated by what they're calling a foul today? You know, I, I would based on how I played. But if you grew up in this era, this is just the way the game is. And you have to adapt and adjust. And that's what you're seeing with the players. Guys can defend it every bit as good as they ever have. In fact, I would argue they're better defensively today because they're not allowed to grab and hold. So the league is focused on offense. The fans seem to love it. But at the end of the day, you still got to get after it defensively. And one team is just completely outclassing the other tonight. Spirited performance. And it really ignited what is turning out to be a monster win here for the Heat. When you shoot this well from three-point range, you're really hard to stop. The defense didn't rotate out fast enough to stop the hot shooters. Exactly, Kevin. They were lethal from deep. And so taking a look at their record, a nice milestone they'll be picking up tonight. 30 wins on the year now. And really, they finally got something good to happen against this team. The last two games they faced them weren't nearly as productive. And one of the league's truly special talents making his mark once again. Another great performance for Jimmy Butler. And guys, I just felt he was tremendous tonight. His energy infected his teammates and a wrecking ball on both ends. Here's Vincent. There's 37 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Shot clock at six. Adebayo with the ball. And it's Johnson picking him up. The shot by Adebayo, no good. Robbed up there for Collins. The pass to Luau. Back to Collins. Over to the wing. Here's Knox. A three ball. And John Collins good for three. Collins does a nice job there preparing for that shot using his base. And so Miami takes this one by a big margin. A resounding victory for them. And Greg in enemy territory, no less. Yeah, that's exactly right. But with the way they controlled the game and, and just completely took the crowd out of it, that's how to get it done on the road. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks very much, Jimmy. You guys fell behind early but came back roaring. What changed? Uh, we started playing with a lot more energy. Started playing harder, doing what we were supposed to be doing. I think the starting five, uh, including myself, we can't start out games that way. We went into halftime and talked about correcting it. Well, whatever you talked about, it worked, man. Thanks very much. Back to you. Thank you, David. Great interview once again. And that about wraps it up for Greg Anthony, Brett Berry, and David Aldridge. This is Kevin Harlan. Thank you for watching the NBA presented by 2K Sports. So long and good night, everyone.